Hey guys, there was one other thing that I forgot to mention about green tea, and it has to do with balding, okay? Basically, uh, green tea increases levels of the testosterone binding globulin, and the more that globulins are, that are produced, okay, the more testosterone it binds with. And when that happens, it leaves less testosterone to react with 5-alpha reductase to form DHT, or dehydrotestosterone, which is the main culprit um, that is attacking the hair follicles on the top of the head. So basically green tea is an awesome way then to inhibit basically this process um, from happening so that not all this DHT is suffocating the hair follicles on the top of the head. And I thought was thinking about this a little bit and the more I think that it's a really good strategy to incorporate green tea, drinking green tea, taking green tea extract, whatever into your uh, regimen if you're dealing with hair loss because not only is it inhibiting, okay, the DHT from being formed, but it's also benefiting your libido. A lot of people report that drinking green tea increases their sexual drive. And I found that to be my case uh, for me too. And I don't think it's just a coincidence. Many people experience the same effects from drinking green tea. It may be perhaps because it's increasing uh, circulation. So increased circulation is going to be great for your hair because, okay, when you have a sensitivity to DHT, uh, not as much nutrients are getting um, into the hair. So you want to have more circulation that's going to the roots of your hair you know, so that you can help it to grow. So not only is it inhibiting DHT, but it's increasing the circulation, it's increasing the blood flow, and on top of it all, okay, baldness has really got a lot of, there's a lot of reasons why people bald. Okay, you got DHT, you got a poor circulation, but another really big one is inflammation, okay? DHT causes a lot of inflammation on the hair follicle. Well, green tea is really anti-inflammatory. So basically, you're taking in all these anti-inflammatory um, medicinal compounds from the green tea, the blueberries, you know, the green smoothies, whatever. So it's really combating that inflammation that's being attacked in your hair follicles. So it's going to have a positive effect one way or the other. I mean, there's no other way to look at it, in my opinion. If you just think about this logically, uh, it's going to have a positive effect on your hair. Absolutely, hands down, it has to have a positive effect on your hair because biologically that's just good what's going to happen it's just like if you're eating blueberries okay that are really rich in antioxidants it's gonna benefit your eyes one way or the other it's gonna benefit your skin okay and it's gonna have a positive effect on the body so I can say with 100 percent absolutely certainty that yes drinking green tea is absolutely going to have a beneficial effect on your hair how much of an effect I have no idea because there's so many different um, factors that are in play here, you know, like how much are you drinking, what's your overall diet, I mean it's going to be different across the board for everybody, you know, your lifestyle, everybody's body too is reacting differently, you know, different processes are happening in your body, so not every one person is having the same processes happen at the same time every single day, so, but I can say this is that it is pushing you in a better direction towards health, and it is having a positive effect on your body, so, yes, I would highly recommend green tea. Even if you don't have hair loss issues, it's still having a positive effect on your body. And that's clearly obvious from all the research and even from the understanding that we know what green tea is doing. You know, increasing circulation, that's always going to be have a positive effect on your body. So, absolutely, uh, green tea is great for balding.